So I just woke up to a great video of Orlando Brown testifying in church, okay? Now, we are always quick to jump on his brother when he's doing something that he's not supposed to be doing. We all seen the videos throughout the years of him getting exposed through people in his own camp, okay? Managers, friends, all of that. The people exposing Orlando Brown was all people that was he was he was supposed to trust, that he thought he could trust, okay? Now, I'm always quick to tap on videos of him messing up. So once I see this dude in church doing the right thing, I had to talk about it. You see what I'm saying? I had to say something about it because I'm going to keep it funky with y'all. When I saw those previous videos, that shit damn near made me want to cry. You know what I'm saying? Like, like Orlando Brown, not so raven. Like we all, like we, we, we was kids watching that. Like we fell in love with that show. See what I'm saying? And to see somebody like that hit rock bottom the way he did definitely made me really emotional. I mean, I didn't cry, but I wanted to. You know what I mean? It was sad. So, anyway, I want you guys to check out this short clip of him testifying in church. It's really short, and then we're gonna come back and talk about the Orlando Brown story and how I feel about it. Let me say, Father, we thank you for this time, for this praise. Yeah, that part, that part, that part, that part, that part. My name is Orlando Brown. Hello, everybody. Um, you may know me from a little show back in the day called That's Right, That's All Raven. And, uh, you know, I went through a lot. You know, I experimented with crystal meth, uh, uh, with weed and I didn't know what I was doing. I had an addiction to the internet, all kinds of stuff, you know. But um, my fiance told me about this place, and when I when I came, it was amazing. Yo, I had I had a blast. These brothers accepted me for who I am, and um, yo, man, I, I mean, I got a whole team of brothers now. The church is lovely, you know. Um, all I can tell y'all is all the leaders are brilliant. They're geniuses and they're men of God. Um, and, and they're raising us all up in, in, in the way to be the same. You know what I mean? So all I can tell y'all is uh, I want to say thank you to all the leaders. You guys just saw that video clip. Now, I'm going to start off by saying this. I don't, I don't care if you believe him or not. I don't care if you think this is a publicity stunt or not. I'm making this video because it's a positive video, positive light on Orlando Brown, which is someone who I feel really, really sad and sorry for, okay? Um, well, I felt that. Hopefully, he's on his new path right now and doing his thing in church. Now, listen, being grounded in faith, being grounded in a higher power, being grounded in something that's bigger than you can be used as a tool to help you progress in life. If you ever notice, like when you're doing, um, I, I've never done this before, but like I've heard people who do like AA meetings and all of that. Um, at the end of it, like the whole 12 step thing, they usually find a higher power. They got to find something that's bigger than themselves to believe in. Okay. You ever, um, for instance, like you ever know somebody who's been to jail in and out and he's always been like, whatever, but once he gets that long, long bid, maybe he gets 10 years, maybe he gets seven years. What always happens for the most part? They come out a changed person. They talking about God, either Allah or Jesus or whatever. You see what I'm saying? When you hit your darkest moment, sometimes nothing but God can save you. Nothing but power and in, in, in the faith and believing and something bigger than you is the only thing that can help you get through some of these things sometime and it looks like Orlando Brown has found that now this dude was done super dirty by people like I said by people he was supposed to trust people that was in his camp that's why you got to pay attention and be careful if you got a friend that's always taking a video of you when you're in a, 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 a fucked up moment all the time if you got friends that are always cracking on you always like you know what i mean you're always the butt of the joke though they probably don't respect you and when you hit rock bottom they're gonna be the first one to try and expose you just like they did orlando brown if you ever hit rock bottom like that you see what i'm saying people saw this dude as a celebrity like we know who orlando brown is like that's the like that's like on some like carlton from fresh prince type shit like like we all know who you are 
So if someone can get the opportunity to expose you and make you look crazy and give them a few likes and a few things, they're going to take that and they're going to run with it and they're going to do that, which is really messed up. You got to you got to pay attention to who you're hanging out with. Now, Orlando Brown was also on the Proud family. OK, and he was on um, he was on I think he was sticky on the Proud family and he was on that so Raven. OK, now we also know Orlando Brown from Family Matters. OK, back in the 90s, like we grew up with this dude, like we literally watched this kid grow up all face from when he was on Family Matters to now. And he looked the same. You see what I'm saying? He looked the same. So it's just like when I see him in a bad state, man, that shit's just like, what the fuck? Like, how does he end up like that? Maybe it's mental illness. A lot of these people going through shit that you don't know. Everybody got their demons. Everybody got whatever they're trying to fight. And sometimes only God can help you fight those demons. Only a higher power. Maybe it's your, maybe you believe in you as a God. Maybe it's your higher self. You see what I'm saying? Maybe it's your higher self that can fight these battles for you. Maybe it's Allah. You see what I'm saying? Maybe it's, maybe it's something, but you got to find something sometimes that's bigger than you, bigger than life, bigger than this world that we live in there. Because sometimes it's the world, it's life itself that's bringing you down. It's it's life itself that's 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 destroying you. So you got to find something outside of this motherfucker for you to maintain and cope. And I hope, I pray to God that Orlando Brown has found that. And I pray to God that the people he's surrounding himself now are people that are going to hold him down for the better. I would love to see Orlando Brown on TV again. I would love to see him be on something and 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 and, and rock the show again, man. Because he was definitely a talented, talented, talented actor. Off rip. Orlando Brown is gifted. And, and being as how people from my generation pretty much saw this kid grow up, we should all root for his success. We should all root for his success. If you was a fan, if he, this is how I look at it. That man made you happy for a good portion of your childhood. Even if it was a show, even if he was getting paid, whatever. You as a kid was happy as hell when you saw him on the screen. When you saw that Soul Raven, when you saw Family Matters, he put a smile on your face. He don't even know you. So the least you could do is hope that this man makes it through whatever he's going through. I don't care about any, whatever allegations are, 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 are facing this dude. As long as he ain't touching kids, I don't care. You see what I'm saying? If that's not the case, I'm rooting for this dude. I'm rooting for this dude. I'm rooting for his family, and I'm rooting for him to, 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 to pop off again. And even if he doesn't pop off again, I'm rooting for him to just be better. We, 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 we jump really, really really fast when we see this dude getting kicked out of a mansion somewhere we jump really really fast when we see him sitting on the corner like looking drugged out we click that video asap so let's click on this one too man you know what i mean like i love seeing i i hope I, i've been praying for this because listen let me tell y'all something if 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 orlando brown would have popped up on your headline or oh, orlando brown dead at the age of da 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 over a drug overdose everybody's be like oh man that's so sad like damn we saw it happening da, 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 da. well here's a train wreck that possibly is getting derailed to to, to 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 safety you see what i'm saying this is literally where energy matters you see the, the this is where energy matters and what you bring into yourself what you bring in what you decide to give yourself attention to matters this is someone's life right here this is someone who's trying to make it work. The same way we dogged him out, let's lift him up. That's all I got to say, man. I ain't even going to hold you. That shit made me sad when I saw those videos. It wasn't like, and you know who else? That basketball player that they found on Skid Row. The basketball player. I don't know, the light-skinned dude. I forgot his name. He had the fro. He was an NBA basketball player. And somebody decided to film him on Skid Row. I'm waiting for his recovery video as well. 
You see what I'm saying? Certain type of people, when they bring joy into your life, it doesn't matter if it's through a TV screen. It doesn't matter if it's uh, if they're getting paid for. It doesn't matter because there's so much sadness on this planet, on this place, in this world that if if you make me happy, I'm giving you I'm I'm, I'm giving you your flowers whenever I can. You see what I'm saying? Like I made a video of this last time. It's just like I only mess with people that provide me something. Like your own like like I only keep friends that benefit me in one way or another. And what did I say in the video? One of those ways that you could benefit me is simply a simple conversation. A simple conversation, a simple joke here and there. And, and 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 we could rock out. You see what I'm saying? Like that's all it takes. Something small like that. Be a, a listening ear. So, although Orlando Brown was on TV, but he's kind of like a friend to all of us because he was somebody that would make us crack up and give us insight on certain things. I know my generation spent hours on the TV growing up. Hours and hours and hours on the TV growing up. That's all we had. We was just watching TV and he was on that screen. You know what I mean? Making us laugh and all of that. So if he made you laugh and he made you smile, you should root for his success. Off that alone. Off that alone. He ain't never hurt you. He ain't never did nothing. In fact, his pain became your, you, you got happy and you, you got like f cracking jokes off of his pain. You see what I'm saying? Not me. I was sad as hell. You know what I'm saying? Like, most people was just, like, on some shit. Like, oh, look at this dude. Ha ha. You know what I mean? Like, nah, man. Anyways, video's gone on too long, man. I want you guys to pray for Orlando Brown. Root for Orlando Brown. And 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 let's and, and let's change the conversation. Let's change the dynamics. You see what I'm saying? Let's bring that positivity also into our own lives. You see what I'm saying? Like, we see somebody that hit rock bottom. We watch you grow up. See, let me tell... Hold on. Before I go, here's some shit because I, I've, I'll... I'm, I'm hard on drug addicts. You see what I'm saying? Like, I get, I go real hard on drug addicts. Like, that's like... Y'all y'all already know. You know what I mean? But I guess when you see a kid who... what When you know somebody who wasn't a drug addict... And then you see their life after being a drug addict. It makes you feel some type. It makes them more like human. It makes them. And, and this is, you know, this is me too. You know what I mean? Like it makes them more like, oh, damn. Like I remember when you was just a kid. You was an innocent kid. Like what happened? You see what I'm saying? Like what happened to you? How did this happen? Like it makes you feel more sad, more sympathetic or whatever. You know what I mean? It's if you're somebody who doesn't really associate with people that have um, drug addictions, mental issues, um, this story right here is, is, is a rarity. This story is right here for you is a rarity. This is a glimpse inside. And this is for me. I'm talking to myself right now. Like, this is a glimpse inside of the before and after. There's only one person I know that I knew before they did the drugs. You know what I mean? They pat, they OD, they passed. So, you know, being that Orlando's still here, I just want to root for the brother. I just want as much people to 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 cheer on this brother. The same amount of people that was laughing at his demise. You feel me? Forgive me, y'all. I gotta. I'm like these allergies are kicking my butt, man. These allergies. I feel like I'm in a cloud of pollen right now. So if I look crazy, like that's why. This is just allergies. But anyways, moving on. Let's pray for Orlando Brown. Let's keep Orlando Brown in our prayers. And I'm rooting for your success, Orlando. Real rap. You made me laugh too many times for me to for me to um, be happy. For me to keep on clicking on these old videos of you messing up, bro. I wish you the utmost success blessings and love and Orlando Brown I hope you breathe easy